What is going on guys? Matt O'Leary back with another Mock Draft Monday. The New York Jets lost to the Atlanta Falcons scoring just 8 points? 9 points? 9 points. Whatever the hell it was. Horrific is what it was. It was horrific. They were terrible. Just ugh, disgraceful. Anyway, here's the deal. The New York Jets are now picking 6th overall because of that. They got some help. They moved up in the draft order, and it feels like they are rolling right towards a top five pick. So today, what we are going to do is another mock draft, because it is Mock Draft Monday, and that's what we're rocking with, is different kinds of mock drafts. If you follow the first one, it was what I would do. That was my first theme. Today's theme, I am going quarterback of the future. Is that necessarily something that I think the Jets are going to do right away? I'm not so sure. But again, this is... Every mock draft doesn't have to be what I would do. We do themes each week because there's a ton of them. If I did what I would do every week, it would get boring and it would get repetitive. But today's theme is quarterback of the future early. Now, PFF, I believe personally, just my own thought, I think it is the most realistic mock draft simulator. The problem was their draft was out of order. So I had to go through manually and make the order correct and give the Jets the sixth pick they had them at pick eight it wasn't exactly updated at the time so just make sure your draft is in the correct order I go based off a of tankathon uh and without further ado let's hop into this enter draft and let's do it okay so here we go Joe Alt is there uh, which is, again, probably my preference, but Caleb Williams and Drake May go one and two. Marvin Harrison Jr. goes three off the board. A tackle goes at four. A wide receiver goes at pick number five. Again, we're doing quarterback of the future. A few different options for you to go, right? Like Bo Nix, Jaden Daniels, Michael Penix are all quarterbacks who – could end up going in the first round. J.J. McCarthy is another one. I don't think Shador Sanders is going to come out. And Quinn Ewers very likely could go back to school. Of the three, I think Michael Penix is my QB three. So that's who I'm going to end up going with here. Again, I want to make it clear, I'm not team draft a quarterback in the first round. But if you were going to, of the three options, I think I would go with Penix. He is extremely accurate uh, as a passer. He is a confident passer. The one downside is he has an injury history, which is uh, unfortunate. But of the first-round quarterbacks, Michael Penix is my quarterback three. So we're going quarterback three off the board first. Now the Jets don't pick until round three. So we have a little bit of a wait here until the Jets are back on the clock. Second-round pick goes to Green Bay. Okay, <laughs> J.J. McCarthy, allegedly available in round three, is very, very funny. Um, that's not going to be very, very likely. Uh, I do think he's going in the top two rounds. Anyway, all right, so what do you do now? Do you go offensive line? Do you go wide receiver? The it, It's got to be either one of those two options, in my opinion. It's either got to be an offensive tackle. So we take a look at the offensive tackles on the board. Or I think you either have to go receiver at this point. Based on how the board is right now, I would probably go tackle. So let's pull that out next. And the Jets aren't on the board again until round four. They do have a fourth round pick. This is a seventh round, a seven round mock draft. So we have there's a ton of picks remaining. Michael Pratt is a developmental quarterback that I tend to like. There's another tackle. There's a guard, which I, I drafted uh, Zinter in the last round. Uh, can you potentially wait and, and get a guard later? I would say yes. Let's take a peek at the wide receiver room. Trey Harris out of Mississippi is one that's jumping out. Roman Wilson. Let's go Ole Miss, Trey Harris. 
Not that a fourth rounder is going to come in and immediately be wide receiver two. You're hoping that they either address wide receiver in free agency or via trade, but they need more than one uh, receiver. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad I waited on the guard because I think that's what I'm going to do now and go Donovan Jackson out of Ohio State. The Jets, it, it, it's very, very evident that they need to continue to add to this offensive line. They need offensive line depth. AVT is coming back. More than likely can play him at guard, but still, let's continue to add to the offensive line because that is a unit that <laughs> desperately, desperately needs help. Okay. Edge defender, running back. Do you go running back? They don't really have a running back. Um, outside of, like, their RB2, I guess you could maybe maybe look to add one in the sixth round. Um, there's a few different options, man. But I also want to check in on the only other position that I think is a really big priority is on the defensive side of the ball is interior defensive line let's go idl now and then wait until round seven there's they have back to back oh there's three round seven picks with their comps uh but there's some back-to-back -back selections coming up and let's see what we could do here uh let's go Okay. Another receiver, Robert Lewis. It was a very offensive leaning draft. Another tackle, Joshua Gray out of Oregon State. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to draft him. And the last pick, if you go quarterback, last pick, linebacker, last pick. Maybe a safety with the last pick. Uh, let's go Carson Steele as the final pick. Okay, here we go. I did, they did not like the Michael Penix grade, but that's not surprising because they had him ranked a little bit lower, but draft your QB3. At that point, okay, uh, so Michael Penix, we got offensive tackle BYU, Trey Harris, wide receiver, Donovan Jackson out of Ohio State, interior defensive lineman Keith Randolph at uh, in round six, Robert Lewis, wide receiver, Joshua Gray, tackle out of Ohio State in the seventh round, and then a seventh round running back Carson Steele to round out the draft class. Let me know your thoughts down below on this mock draft, trying to find the future quarterback and have them sit behind Aaron Rodgers for a year or two. Let me know your thoughts. Once again, I'm Matt O'Leary. I'll catch you next time.